guys, it's me, uh, Knuckles Productions 360 here. Today I'm taking a look at another figure review. Today I'm taking a look at the SH Figure Arts Bowser figure. Uh, I'm gonna be honest, um, as a big Mario and Sonic fan, Sonic Crash Bandicoot, Angry Birds, and Ratchet and Clank and Sly Cooper fan, um, I will admit, this is honestly my favourite figure of all time. And so uh, I got this guy, well I kind of probably lied in the video, I didn't really get this off of eBay, I got this from the uh, New York store in um, America, in uh, New York, as I said, the Nintendo store, and yeah, overall this figure just looks incredible. Um, but anyway, I should probably talk about one thing in the um, Mario fan line. We get lots of characters, but unfortunately Bowser is one of the characters who we get little merchandise of. I have no idea why, maybe companies don't really think he has much marketing tools, but surprisingly um, I was glad to see that uh, the one Nintendo Bowser made a figure, of, uh, a Bowser figure, and that's pretty good. Uh, but I wasn't able to get that, because I don't live in the, uh, U in the US or anywhere else. I live uh, somewhere in the UK. And so this is, um, yes, this is really the best I could really do, really. So, uh, let's get started, uh, with this figure, then. Alright, so I want to start with the best part of Bowser. Without a doubt, uh, the sculpt of Bowser. As well as the quality control and the articulation. The sculpt on my Bowser figure is fantastic. It is unbelievable. The paint job especially. Like, look at this. That... That looks like sculpt, like a camera focus. Just look at that, it looks like scales and skin, that is just so cool, and even his neck parts, that is so cool, they actually detailed that. And his eyes, and yeah. So the, here's the back from Bowser, it's pretty game accurate, this figure I think is game accurate. Um, yeah, uh, you've got his spikes there. Uh, teeth and yeah, there's a uh, his head and on the bottom. Uh, I'm glad they added this in for the opening one. Also, so I think there's some writing. Uh, there's, uh, there's the tail and yeah. So uh, one thing that I love about this Bowser figure is the articulation. Uh, this figure has quite a lot. So what? So the articulation here, Bowser's arms are on uh, ball joints right here. They're very stern in place, so they won't fall off. Uh, he can move his, these parts of his hands right around. Uh, you can move his wrists as well. Uh, you can move his head, but I don't really, because I just feel like he, it might snap off. So I just keep it in one place. And... Um, you can move his uh, feet, his feet are on ball joints, uh, they don't move as much, well you can kind of do this, but just let the figure fall over. Uh, one thing that was really cool by is you can move his feet upwards like that, and then move him any way you want, so that's, that's pretty cool, I, I really like that. And even uh, his hair part here has a bit of articulation, you can move it uh, up and kind of down. Well, that's pretty cool, I just want to move it down. Unfortunately though, his tail does not move, that is in place, but helps the figure stand up very well. And, yeah. Uh, the big thing with this Bowser figure, uh, he had a stand, but I don't have the stand, I think I lost it or something. Uh, but, yeah, this Bowser figure used to have a stand, uh, but unfortunately I lost it. Oh well. Uh, there, there's really no nitpicks I have with this Bowser figure, I'm just blown away. There are a few paint errors like this one, and the quality control is really good, but the only one nitpick... Oh, no, what? Uh, light problems. There The only one ginormous nitpick I would have with this Bowser figure is, well, the eye right here. I move my light over. It just looks a little bit like some dirt and some dust around and there's a few paint colors. Other than that, those are really just nitpicks this figure. And so, yeah, I'll show you some cool poses you can put Bowser in. So, here's a montage of some photos.
now, a lot of you probably want to know, how do these figures scale next to Popco and Jack Specifics, World of Nintendo figures? Well, for starters, the Bowser scales really well with the Bowser Jr. figure. However, he does not scale well with the Mario figure, unfortunately, by Popco. I mean, he doesn't look bad next to him, he just lo looks a bit goofy considering Bowser's supposed to be taller than Mario in the games. But the only reason why he's not as tall is because he has his knees bent, and well, I guess that makes sense. But yeah, I do recommend uh, picking this guy up. I think he's really good. And he would work fine enough in both displays of Jack Specific's World and Nintendo or the Popco uh, figures. This is honestly the best Bowser figure I have ever seen. This figure is without a doubt my favourite Nintendo figure of all time. This guy has so much to him, such as all the details on Bowser. If you are a fan of Bowser, I recommend picking this guy up. However, he is a bit harder to come across, but he's not as hard as, well, World of Nintendo Bowser. But still, this figure is fantastic. He would work really well in both displays. So, highly recommend picking this guy up. For my score, 10 out of 10. Just fantastic and amazing. Anyway guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.